Hello everyone, um, I'm Denise Goff and I would like to read something from uh, Khalil Gibran's book, The Prophet, um, which is always helpful during trying times, which these are, and so I would, um, I hope that this resonates for some of you and um, sending you all much love. And it is with this belief and this knowledge that I say, you are not enclosed within your bodies, nor confined to your houses or fields. That which is you dwells above the mountain and roves with the wind. It is not a thing that crawls into the sun for warmth or digs holes into darkness for safety, but a thing free, a spirit that envelops the earth and moves in the ether. If these be vague words, then seek not to clear them. Vague and nebulous is the beginning of all things, but not their end. And I fain would have you remember me as a beginning. Life and all that lives is conceived in the mist and not in the crystal. And who knows, but a crystal is mist in decay. This would I have you remember in remembering me. That which seems most feeble and bewildered in you is the strongest and most determined. Is it not your breath that has erected and hardened the structure of your bones? And is it not a dream which none of you remember having dreamt that builded your city and fashioned all there is in it? Could you but see the tides of that breath, you would cease to see all else. And if you could hear the whispering of the dream, you would hear no other sound. But you do not see, nor do you hear, and it is well. The veil that clouds your eyes shall be lifted by the hands that wove it, and the clay that fills your ears shall be pierced by those fingers that kneaded it. And you shall see, and you shall hear. Yet you shall not deplore having known blindness, nor regret having been deaf. For in that day, you shall know the hidden purposes in all things, and you shall bless darkness as you would bless light. Much love all.